On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to take a look at the CoinOps X 4.5 build and also show you how to get it set up to play on the Legends Arcade family of products. Have the fans of Sauce community, have they made a monster? yippee ki -yay! Guys, I can't tell you enough how the fans of Sauce development community have been making these CoinOps X builds easy, fun, fast for all of us to enjoy many, many games on our Legends Arcade family of products using the CoinOps X third-party developer application. The fans of Sauce CoinOps X 4.5 arcade build is arcade games only. It's a 45.4 gigabyte build that has over 1,653 of your favorite arcade games. A lot more games have been added compared to their prior 4.3 build, and I've been having a lot of fun checking this out on my Legends Arcade family of products. As you can imagine, due to the sensitive nature of the content, I cannot share exact links for you on where you can obtain and download these particular builds. The best thing I can do for you is I'll have a link in the video description for uh, communities where you can go in and ask for support, ask questions. But always, guys, whenever it comes to this stuff, the internet is your friend and YouTubers cannot share direct links to the downloads. Assuming now that you have downloaded the build already, have it on your personal PC, obtained it yourself, it'll probably come over as a zip file such as this. All you have to do is right click on it and use an extraction tool such as 7-Zip and go ahead and click extract here. Now I did end up putting this in its own folder after it downloaded. I got it out of my download folder. So I just put a folder on my desktop called CoinOpsX um, and went ahead and uh, created that folder. It'll start extracting the files and it'll create a new folder. You'll notice on the bottom right of the bottom taskbar, you'll notice that there is a box highlighted in green and it's slowly moving over as the files are being extracted. Unfortunately, the capture card here did not pick up the additional pop-up window that lets you know it's extracting. Just let the extraction tool run. Should take minutes due to the size and number of files. Now, once it's done extracting, you'll actually be able to open uh, this new folder that got created. And when you open it up, you'll see that you have your UCE files already created by the fans of Sauce. You have the CoinOps X files that already has all the artwork and video snaps. There's also a games list so you can take a look and scroll through all 1,653 games. There's a whole ton of cool ones on here. As well as you'll see, there's plenty of README documents. Uh, and these documents give you certain button mappings, so you know the button mapping on particular games, as well as if there were any errors discovered in the build that need fixed, they give you instructions on how to do it. The games that need some fixes that are all kind of highlighted here are honestly games I'm not even going to play, so I'm not even worried about it. But guys, whenever you download any kind of public build, coin ops, raspberry pies, all that kind of stuff, these builds always have readme files. Make sure you read the readmes uh, before you move on and do anything further. Okay, now that we have the CoinOps build on our PC, the next step is to plug a thumb drive into your PC. We'll go ahead and navigate to that thumb drive. I have this one labeled as test. I'm going to go ahead and rename it. I'm going to name it CoinOps you know, 4.5 because that is the name of this build, and that way I'll know whenever I plug this flash drive back into my PC what this flash drive is. As you guys know, if you have an At Games Legends Ultimate, you probably have a graveyard of thumb drives. So we renamed our blank flash drive. What we're gonna go ahead and do is make sure it's ready to go. So we're gonna right click on the drive and go over to format. We're gonna format it XFAT. Should only take a couple of seconds. The drive is ready to go. Since the CoinOps X 4.5 build is a 45 gigabyte build, I would recommend using a 64 gigabyte thumb drive to easily fit everything on here. You'll notice I have now on the right hand side, I have my CoinOps X folder. And on the left hand side, I've snapped the window for the thumb drive. All you have to do is highlight all the files, drag them and drop them over onto your thumb drive and let them copy over. Due to the number of files, it's gonna take a while, guys. It might, and also depending on your computer and processing speed and all that stuff, 
uh, guys, it's going to take a little bit. So it might take anywhere from 10 minutes upwards of 45 minutes for everything to copy over. Once it finishes copying over, guys, once you hit 100%, you'll notice that all of the matching files and folders are all in the exact same spot on your flash drive. You're ready for the next step. Close your PC window. At this point, we're ready to use our add-on X tool. If you don't have it already on your PC, I'll have a link in the video description below for you to download it. At this point, we need this tool to do the final step on the flash drive in order to get these games ability to run on the arcade machine. So we're gonna double click on it and open up the add on X tool. And we're just gonna click on that button that says choose. It says, what do you wanna run this tool against? You wanna click on your flash drive. Just click on the flash drive right there, not one of the subfolders underneath it. You'll notice it'll just have the drive number in the box. Another reason why I named the flash drive is it said CoinOps X 4.5. After you choose it, your drive, you just click the build button on the bottom right corner of the window and let it run. Due to the number of games and files, it's probably going to take about, well, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so uh, to run through all the games and build the appropriate add-on X, CoinOps X files. Okay guys, after it gets to the very bottom, after it gets to the letter Z games, You'll notice this script messaging right here letting you know that it's created 1,653 add-ons and that it's done and you're good. If it says failed or anything like that, then you need to rerun the tool. Uh, as you can see there, it also took about 38 minutes for it to go through. But make sure you see that script so you know you're ready to plug this into your arcade machine. Okay guys, we are over on our Legends Ultimate 1.0 cabinet. The steps you take here will be the same steps you take on the 1.1 cabinet if that's the one you have. There's more than one way to skin a cat. In this case, we're going to do the two flash drive method. So we have our Cox flash drive here. I stuck a label on it. That's the flash drive we just built on the PC. And then, of course, we have a blank flash drive. This is a flash drive that we need to add the App Store X and Flash Drive X stuff in order to get this launched on our system. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the blank flash drive, not the CoinOps flash drive, because I don't want to accidentally format the CoinOps flash drive and get this messed up. I'm gonna head on over to the settings menu to Flash Drive X. That's all you gotta do is head on over to Flash Drive X. After you click on Flash Drive X, it'll say, do you wanna format on the bottom? You go ahead and click the A button and say, yes, I wanna format. The format process only takes a couple of seconds. Flash Drive X is processing and boom, it's done. Now you can go ahead and hit the dismiss button. Now before you leave, head on over to Mount and click Mount. That way it goes ahead and it mounts your flash drive. It'll tell you Mount Success. It only takes a second. After this is done, you can hit the B button to back out. Head on over on the top menu to App Store X and you'll see the CoinOps X third-party developer application. We want to go ahead and get that application installed on this blank flash drive. So you just go ahead and open it, click it, say, are you sure you want to install CoinOpsX on this flash drive? Go ahead and click on install. It should only take a, a few seconds. And after it's installed, now that the application is on the flash drive and the games are on the other flash drive, everything will run smoothly on the Legends Ultimate. So now at this point, I'm going to take that CoinOpsX drive that we built on our PC that has all of our games on it. I'm going to plug that into the other flash drive and I'm gonna wait for it to load. Make sure you watch that blinking flash drive cursor next to the Wi-Fi logo on the top right. Don't do anything until you see that it's solid and that it's not blinking. And at this point, you can click on the A button. And once again, click on the A button under the CoinOps X. Say, do you wanna launch CoinOps X? You hit yes. And the screen will turn blue. And after it finishes loading, bang. The CoinOps X interface is up and running, and you have 1,653 games. All right, dudes, I got the capture card hooked up to the Legends Ultimate so we can get a beautiful clear shot of this build. And as you can see here, the fans of Sauce once again hit a home run. I love all the artwork, the video snaps, the marquees, the logos as you change games, all that kind of stuff. They did a fantastic job on this build. Kudos to the fans of Sauce for making another awesome thing that's easy and fun for the community. The folks over there at the fans of Sauce did a lot of work making sure that the trackball works with trackball games.
and that these spinners work with spinner games and work really, really well. All of your favorite classic fighting games from King of Fighters to Street Fighters to Mortal Kombat's, they're all in this build and a ton, a ton of fun on here. Might just need to check that readme file for some button mapping for some particular games. And of course, all my favorite running gunners, as well as vertical scrolling shooter games, shmups, as well as my beat em up games, all my favorites are on here. I mean, who doesn't want to play Cowboys of Moo Mesa? Overall, guys, I think the fans of Sauce did an excellent job with this build. I can't tell you exactly where to get it, but if you get it, I think you're going to be very happy. It'll save you a lot of time if you wanted to try and set up Coin Ops X by yourself. They've done all the work for you, and they've also done it for free, so a big thank you and shout out to that community. If you ended up paying for this kind of build online through some kind of online marketplace, you got ripped off because it's available for free for everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. Leave us your comments and feedback below. Hopefully this tutorial video helped you out. Shout out once again to the fans of Sauce. Make sure you guys leave your comments and feedback below. And as always, guys, thanks for subscribing.